People often wonder what's it going to be like when Mashiach comes? What's it going to feel like? What's life going to be like? The Rambam <coughs> clearly explains to us that very little changes. Says the Rambam, <coughs> Olam kimin hagan noheg. The world will continue in the way of the world. You'll still go to work. You'll still plant a seed and it will grow. Very little changes in terms of the physicality of the world. The one thing that does change is Malaya Aretz Deya Hashem. The entire world gets it. The entire world sees Hashem right here. The entire world is fully aware, acutely aware of Hashem's presence. And that single cognition changes everything. <clears throat> because in a heartbeat, all desire to do that which is wrong and improper falls away like smoke. I don't drink bleach. I wouldn't drink bleach if you paid me $100. <clears throat> if you paid me $1,000 to drink one gallon of Clorox, you won't catch me doing it. Why not? Because it's foolish. It's stupid. It damages me. That clarity of understanding every human being has when Mashiach comes. <clears throat> every human being sees Hashem. Every human being understands the value of a mitzvah. I change. I grow. I become a bigger, better person. And every human being sees the damage of an Avera. And no one wants to sin. Why? Because it's recognized for the folly, for the foolishness that it is. And that single cognition changes everything. <clears throat> Every human being alive leaves a life of meaning, of purpose. Every human being grows. Every human being desires acutely to be close to our Creator, to be close to Hashem. And leading a life of purpose and meaning, <clears throat> the human being grows and accomplishes, and it fills the person with such joy and happiness. Tremendous simcha sachayim, tremendous satisfaction. <clears throat> a Jew and Gentile alike feels a tremendous joy and happiness. The world sings out. Why? Because every human being gets it, <clears throat> every human being understands why they're here, and every human being reaches for lofty heights and is a sense of balance, of happiness, and the human being sees the world for what it is. In the time the Mashiach will be able to see the beauty of creation. We'll be able to look at a sunrise and say it's magnificent. We'll be able to look at a blade of grass and be astonished by it. <clears throat> we'll be able to smell the various aromas, see the sights, taste the tastes of this world because there's a joy, a happiness, and then the human being is leading a life as he should. Hashem put us in this world to grow and accomplish, but Hashem put many features into this world for us to enjoy. The fact that we don't enjoy it is because we're so lost in the <clears throat> busyness and the static, there's a sense of imbalance, a sense of lack of harmony. When Mashiach comes, it all stops. <clears throat> we see Hashem, we grow, we accomplish, we reach our purpose in creation, we enjoy life profoundly and acutely, but more than anything, we see Hashem, we grow, we reach our purpose in creation.